welcome to another Exploring Nature with Children workshop. We've got some great crafts coming up, some fun facts and a quiz at the end, so keep watching. My name's Rachel, these are my three home ed kids and today we're hunting for uh -huh. worms! Earthworms are annelids, a bit like leeches as well. They've got segmented bodies and as you can see, they live under the ground. You're probably really familiar with them coming out in the wet weather and disappearing when it's dry. Sometimes we can think worms are just small and insignificant. We might have even stepped on some accidentally. Some people even think that they're gross and don't like them at all. Yet what would you say if I said they were really important? Why do you think worms are important? These worm casts might give us an answer. You could call it worm poo. And if you pick them up, you can sometimes see the holes underneath where the worms have buried themselves underneath. So as they tunnel, they eat all this good stuff and then poop it out the other end. Charles Darwin was a very famous scientist and he thought worms were really important too. These are the reasons why. They're really important part of the food chain so other animals eat them. But also they mix up that soil, make it really healthy for our food to grow in. We decided to build a worm to explore its anatomy. We use Swiss rolls, as you can see, to make all the different segments. Now, you can see right in the middle, there's a big chunk of Swiss roll. That's a clitellum. That forms the cocoon for the worm's eggs. You can see we're just finishing off the head there. That's where the mouth is. The mouth doesn't have any teeth. The head doesn't have eyes either. All along the body of the worm are photoreceptors that help it sense the light. We're just finishing off the end there, the longer part of the worm. Did you know that there have been earthworms, types of earthworms discovered that are three meters long? That's impressive. The earthworm doesn't have any lungs, it just breathes in and out of its skin. And it doesn't have legs, but it does have tiny retractable bristles along each segment that help it move through the soil. Now, why don't you have a go at building your own earthworm? I wonder what you could use. If you learn one thing today, you can forget everything else, but if you learn this one thing, I'll be so pleased. No matter how small you might feel or unimportant, or even if other people have made you feel like you're yucky, just remember that you are so important to the world, just like earthworms. If you want to watch the worms do that important job, you can make your own wormery. You need a container, a lid you can put holes in, some gravel, some food for the worms, some compost, and some sand. You start with the gravel and then you just keep taking turns of soil and sand to build up lots of layers. Stop about five centimeters from the top so that you can add in some food. We put in a tea bag, some rotten apples, some leaves and a bit of moss. Then you've got to make it really dark so that when you find your worms to put in there, they're nice and cozy. So put the lid on, make sure there's some holes in and then find a dark place to put your wormery. Each week in our nature workshops we have a 3 2, one challenge. It's to help us to observe things and notice things that maybe we might miss. You can do it outside, you can do it through your window, you can open up a book or go on the internet, it's up to you, but here's our challenge. I want you to find three worms. It is harder than it looks. If you're looking online, see if you can find three different types of worms. Two, I would like you to find two other animals or plants that have important jobs. And one, I want you to tell one person today how important they are and why. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go! Well, we found lots of worm casts so far, but are you tired? It's been an ex exhausting journey and we haven't found any worms. So we're gonna head home for some hot chocolate, but while we're doing that, you've got a quiz. So it's really simple. If you've been listening, you will know all the answers already. All you have to do is a thumbs up if you think it's true and a thumbs down if you think it's false. Let's do it. Here we go. Earthworms breathe through two sets of tiny lungs. What do you think? It's false. They don't even have lungs. Earthworms can grow up to three meters long. True in parts of Australia. Earthworms have mouths but no teeth. True, they do. Earthworms blink their eyes 85 times a minute. False, they have no eyes. 
thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn about something at Elsa, it's very small but very fascinating, then check out this video from my friend Samantha. We'll see you next week when we're learning all about evergreens and I think my den might be about to collapse so I best get going. Bye! I want to say, someone keeps farting and it's really stinky. <laughs> Is it you? <laughs>